Hello, welcome to Juniper Networks Learning Byte. My name is Maro Fiunos and I'm a lab architect within Education Services team. In this Learning Byte, I'll be showing you how to run Juno's RPC commands using Ansible. Juniper Networks support Ansible for managing devices running the Juno's operating system. And the Ansible role is hosted on the Ansible Galaxy website under the role called Juniper Junos. This Juniper Junos role includes a set of Ansible modules that perform a specific operational and configuration tasks on devices running Junos OS. And this can be run on multiple Junos devices at the same time. Okay. Most Junos OS operational commands uh, have XML equivalent. And Ansible playbooks can execute these XML commands on a Junos device using the uh, remote procedure called protocol, uh, which is also known as RPC protocol. Okay, and Junos underscore RPC module uh, can be used to execute RPC commands on a Junos device. So I'll be showing you how to run RPC commands uh, on a Junos device right now uh, through a live demo here. Okay, so. Let me log into my Bastion. So I have this Bastion host that have access to, to my um, Juno's devices. Yeah, for my demonstration purposes, I'll be using two VMXs. So let me log into them first, make sure they're up and running. So this is the VMX one. And I'm gonna be sh um, showing you how to uh, run RPC commands uh, or get RPC command information before running on Ansible so that you know how to find out what an RPC command for a specific uh, CLA command is, okay? So for example, let's say I want to find the uh, the chassis hardware information of a Juno's device, okay? So we know a CLA command called show chassis hardware, okay? This command shows chassis hardware of the Juno's device. So if I pipe it to display XML, I get the uh, XML output, which also shows the, uh, you know, uh, the actual XML RPC call that we can make. So in this case, we want the chassis inventory command. You can also, in many cases, you can also run, uh, let me maximize this window here, uh, like this XML RPC to find the exact RPC call here. So in this case, uh, the exact RPC call is get chassis inventory. Okay, so we're gonna pass that command into our Ansible and we can run on multiple Juno's devices, okay? Go back to my other screen here. So I have this playbook, uh, Ansible playbook, uh, which we'll be using for this demonstration. So it's called uh, run RPC XML, uh, it's called YAML file. So in this case, you know, I have this whole group of host VMX devices, which is basically contain VMX one and two. On inventory file, and we're going to be using the Juniper uh, .junos, uh, role here. And uh, there's some default setting here. The connection should be local. Uh, we're not going to gather any facts, uh, and we're going to pass some um, variable. So, for example, when you run this playbook, it will ask us for our username and password for the Junos device. And uh, for the password, we are setting it to private so that we don't see the password while typing. And we also pass the RPC command that we want to run. Okay, so that way I can use the same playbook for multiple different kinds of RPC command target towards a set of hosts when I need to. Okay, and uh, the tasks are performed under the task section here. So this uh, section uh, uses, as you see, Junos underscore RPC module. And we are basically defining the host, which is the host name of the device, uh, of the inventory device. Uh, and then a username password, which will be entered through uh, when we run the playbook, whatever we are entered will be will be used here, as well as the RPC command. Okay. And the format in this case we're going to be using XML for now, but we can change that. I will show you how to change it uh, to text, and if you want to see text output as well. But XML might be handy if you have a different system uh, like a CMDB or any other already existing system that can parse XML data for other purposes, okay? So we're gonna keep it default to XML for now. And then we're gonna, whatever the output we get from the RPC command, we'll be storing on a file, which is the host name, underscore the name of the RPC command, dot com on the same directory, okay? So this is our basic playbook that we will be running here, okay? So let's get the chassis information of the devices, okay? So in this case, uh, I showed you 
the RPC call to get that is called get chassis inventory. That's we retrieve from the this CLI here. So we're gonna use pass this as an RPC command to find the chassis information. Okay. So to run the playbook, I will say Ansible playbook run RPC YAML. Press enter. And last course, username lab lab password and the RPC command that I'm gonna be uh, passing. So in this case, I'm gonna be passing this RPC command get chassis inventory and uh, press enter. Now it's gonna run this command on multiple devices. So in this case, as you see, it ran on VMX1 and 2, both of them are green. Okay, okay, so that's a good sign. So if I do an ls l VMX, I believe this. So I have this, uh, let me tell it to the one that I just, so I ran this multiple times. So, okay, let's try this. Okay, so I have this, uh, Sorry, I mean, it's an S. There you go. So just uh, to show these are the commands that we just ran, I'm gonna just cat one of them. Okay, I get all the data. And if I do VMX2, I got the data as well. So let's run another command to show you that we can use the same uh, playbook to run different commands. So let's see if we wanna get system uptime. Show system uptime. Let's see what's the RPC command for that will be. Okay, in this case, we're gonna be get system uptime information. So I'm gonna do exit. I'm gonna go back to the same uh, thing here. Okay, lab, lab password, and the RPC command, we're gonna put in this, uh, I don't think it, does, it doesn't like the backspace. So let me copy it one more time from the other screen here so that I don't copy the... Okay, I'm gonna copy that. Okay, let's see if it runs. Ran fine. And then if I do cat VMX1. Sorry, let me do... Okay, see the two file. I'm just gonna cat that file here as you see. Uh, for example. Okay, so as you see here, it, it gathers all the uh, uptime information. Let me make it a text uh, output so that we we can also play with that. So let me run RPC. Might be easily readable in many cases. I'm gonna change it to the format to be a text here. Okay, I'm gonna run the same command. Okay. Oh, I didn't have that. Let me get that again. I'm gonna type. Okay. All right. Ran fine. Go to cat. And I get the whole optimum information in uh, text format. So uh, you get the idea. So basically, uh, you, know, you can you can run all sorts of RPC commands uh, on multiple devices using uh, Ansible. And this can be very helpful if you want to automate, you know, a lot of Juno's administration through Ansible. And uh, I hope this video helps. Thank you for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program the ultimate demonstration of your competence and the training community from forums to social media join the discussion